सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ अ स्टोरी बाय डिलन टोमस द टाइटल यू सी इज अ स्टोरी बट इट इज नॉट अ स्टोरी यस दिस इज अ फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जामिनेशन द क्वेश्चन से इज अ स्टोरी इज नॉट अ स्टोरी प्रोपर बट अ जम्बल ऑफ वेरियस पीपल जस्टिफाई यस what we understand a story usually has a proper beginning that introduces the characters situation the characters can be people or animals or birds or whatever and then a story at the beginning introduces us with the situations the problems may be the environment the setting where the story takes place where it happens what is the situation what is the condition of the characters who are the characters these things are introduced at the beginning of the story and then there is development in the middle in the middle of the story when the story develops it goes in the middle and and in the middle of the story we find usually a problem a crisis some complications are presented in the story some complications some problems some crisis they are seen in the story at the in the middle and finally it develops gradually it develops the plot develops means the series of events a group of events a chain of events they are interrelated in a chronological order these chains of events these series of events or you can say a group of events that are interrelated they develop a plot they develop the plot of a story they make a plot and finally the story reaches a climax the story a story reaches the climax the climax that is the turning point the optimum position of the story from where the story comes to an end either the story ends in happiness or in tears if it ends in happiness it can be called a comedy a happy ending story if it ends in tragedy in death disaster destruction it can be called a tragic story or tragedy let's say so what we understand basically a story has some essential elements and these elements that that may be characters the events or you can say the plot or you can say the the introduction the beginning the middle ending climax all these things are the basic elements of a story but in all story we don't find these things seriously in operation these things are not these elements are not seriously active in all story that's why it is also called all story is not a story proper it is called all story is not a story proper but a jumble of various people why because it simply describes an outing outing means you understand a trip it is one day outing one day trip like picnic by a group of friends a group of friends these friends are matured people these friends are senior people senior matured people middle aged people uh, maybe 45 50 of of this age people a group of people a group of let's say matured people these people represent various characters living in our society characters some people are serious in our society some people very funny some people all the time keeps on cracking jokes some people are very serious minded some people are very very disciplined some people are out of discipline some people are good very uh, very strict about rules and regulations some people so various characters living in our society society are represented by these different characters and these group of friends they almost every year 
almost every year they have a you can say a trained they have a trained they have a system wherever they walk the group of friends wherever they walk whatever profession they belong to no matter at least once a year these friends this group of friends they combine together they get together they make one day outing they go at least for one day they make a trip and they have lots of fun and entertainment means even in the matured age age of maturity they revive their childhood they revive their they live in their childhood means they uh, re regain revive their childhood that means in every senior citizen in every as a man there is a hidden child everyone wants to have fun in life these things you can say can be uh, gained from the story and as you see it is a story narrated from the point of view of a small boy a small boy is the narrator of the story that's why he looks at things very you can say uh, very microscopically means his vision is like microscope he magnifies everything from the point of view of a small boy the story is narrated bhaneko yo katha vachan garne yo katha hamile sunaune vyakti chai euta small euta young boy a young boy is the narrator of the story yo narrator young bhako karanle what he does everything magnifies he magnifies everything sano kura lai pani usle thulo dekcha means samanya kura haru usko nazar ma samanya hoina means matured people experienced people ko nazar ma ta dherai kura haru samanya a simple ordinary normal tara euta sano baccha ko nazar ma sano kura pani usle thulo achamma manera hercha that's why it is narrated from a small point of uh, sorry it is narrated from the point of view of a small boy a small boy's perspective you can say so let's come to the situation of the story what do we find at the beginning we find there is a small boy he is narrating the story and he lives with his uncle uncle thomas and aunt sara uncle thomas aunt sara a small boy that is the narrator lives with his uncle and aunt sara his his aunt's name is sara but he never calls her aunt he calls he often calls my uncle's wife why because he doesn't find now he describes the relationship he describes the uh, the, the nature of his uncle and aunt the physical structure he describes the physical structure structure the appearance the characters or you can say the nature of his uncle and aunt according to the boy his uncle thomas he was a heavily built man a giant figure like a hulk you can say he was in fact so big so huge so wild you can say so rough you can say that whenever he was present in the shop he had a shop a small shop whenever he was present in the shop or at home it looked as if the shop was full and his presence his presence at home or at shop in shop made the boy feel that a huge buffalo a huge buffalo was fully squeezed into a cupboard euta thulo bhaishi lai jabardasti है ना बा जबरजस्ती एट कबोर्ड में एटा दराज भि कोचे कोचि राखे को जस्तु देखिथ्यो फील करते द बोय प्रेजेन्स दिस ह्यूमरसली द बोय से इज हिज अंकल वाज भेरी ह्यूज मैन रफ मैन वाइल्ड नेचर मीन्स भेरी लाइक अ हल्क यू कैन से यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड सारा हिज वाइफ द बोय से इज माई अंकल्स वाइफ एक means actually she is sara her name is sara aunt sara sara she was very small very thin very quick at doing things she was in fact so small that she would be present when whenever she was present in front of thomas there was no match 
it was typical it means uh, drastic means there was a drastic you can say there was a, a very um, very severe distinction between uncle thomas and sarah that's why he says i did not find any match between my uncle and his wife uncle was very giant very uh, a hulk, uh, like a like a hulk very big huge but aunt was very small thin and quick at doing things she was now in the bedroom she would she would within seconds within seconds she would be in the kitchen room she is in the kitchen room within seconds she would be found in the living room means she moved she kept moving from one room to another so quickly so fast that he never felt her presence and he never found a match between uncle thomas and wife his wife that's why and he he says i never called he never calls her aunt he says my uncle's wife now his uncle thomas he had a shop he had some friends of his similar age of his age and these friends they as i told you already these friends had a system these friends had a trend you can say a trend a tradition you can say that every year at least one day they used to go on outing and this year also they had planned to go for an outing to go for a picnic on a picnic and this year the destination of their outing the destination of their trip is Porthkal Porthkal is the name of place where they decide to where they plan to go on a trip for outing Porthkal this year they are going to Porthkal they have planned to go to Porthkal and uncle thomas he has uncle thomas has his friend benjamin franklin benjamin franklin is assigned with the responsibility of managing everything for the outing that means he would collect the money from the friends he would make the list of items to be purchased to be prepared to be used on outing and benjamin franklin this time has been given this responsibility and benjamin franklin and will sentry they come to uncle thomas shop at the time the narrator the boy he witnesses he sees everything ule sab kura dekhirae ko huncha benjamin franklin ke garcha benjamin franklin le list liyera auncha list ma jammai sathi haru jastai will sentry O Jones, Mr. Weasley, No Bowen, Enoch Jabez, Bob the Fiddle, and there are some other names as well. These names are major names. If you remember these names, if you mention these names, that will be enough, I think. And Benjamin Franklin Sangha list cha, Sathi Haru ko list, Kalle Kati Paisa Teko cha, everything, and he has he has been given the responsibility to manage everything. He complains. He complains about Will Sentry. Benjamin Franklin complains to Thomas about Will Sentry. He says, "I don't like his behavior. I don't like his nature. He all the time he follows me. Wherever I go, he follows me. Jati khera pani mero pasi lagi rancha. Wherever I go, then Will Sentry, Will Sentry." say sorry will sentry always follows him he doesn't like his habit then uncle thomas he says he is just keeping a watch he is just keeping a watch on how much you are spending where you are spending you know bob the fiddle actually what happened in their previous tour in their previous picnic or tour you can say in outing you can say there was a character there was a friend bob the fiddle was his name bob the fiddle this character this person had misused the fund the outing fund to outing ko lagi picnic jana ko lagi jun paisa collection gareko huncha to paisa madhe yo bob the fiddle bhanne le ke gareko huncha to paisa misuse gardeko huncha usle daru khai deko huncha to paisa le ani tyo event pachi tyo event pachi sab lai ekdam doubt lagcha kase lai pani paisa diye bhane kase le pani paisa tyo manage garda kheri तेस पच्छी एकजना वाचफुल होने एकजना केयरफुल होने 
कहाँ खर्च कर कति पैसा खर्च कर एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस टाइम विल सेंट्री अलवेज फलोज बेन्जामिन फ्रैंकलिन हि डजेंट लाइक हि अल्सो सेज आई थैंक गॉड हि डज नट फलो मी अप टू माई बेडरूम देन विल सेंट्री सेज आई वुड फलो यू टू द बेड अल्सो बट योर वाइफ वंट लेट मी गो देयर उसे भाष मीन्स दे हेव भेरी फन्नी रिनेसनशिप ओके सो अंकल टोमस हि प्रिपेयर्स हि चेक्स द लिस्ट एंड हि कन्फर्म्स दैट हू ऑल द मेम्बर्स दोज हू हेव पेड मनी नाउ दे आर प्लांग दे हेव द प्लांग टू गो अन आउटिंग अन सैटरडे मर्निंग अन सैटरडे मर्निंग दे प्लान टू गो बिफोर दैट व्हाट हेपन्स टमस हि हेज हिज वाइफ शारा शारा एंड टमस दो दे हेव यू कैन से दे हेव भेरी गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग गुड रिलेशनशिप समटाइम्स दे हेव क्वारल्स समटाइम्स दे हेव डिस्प्यूट्स समटाइम्स दे हेव डिस्प्यूट्स एंड क्वारल्स ऑफन व्हाट हेपन्स अंकल टॉमस he often sings in his husky voice irritating voice whenever he sings in his irritating voice shara tries to make him stop she tells him to stop singing but he does not he keeps on singing in his irritating voice she grows angry sometimes and she throws uh, with whatever comes in her hand like maybe uh, the plate from the kitchen glass from the kitchen utensils from the kitchen whatever comes in her hand she starts hitting at him with that and sometimes sometimes she would hit him with china dog in fact a uh, china dog a plaything you can say like a doll uh, she she takes a china dog and sometimes she hits on his head but because she is small in height height kom bakonale because uncle thomas is very tall figure and aunt sara is very small she cannot reach uh, his head then what she does sometimes she brings a chair she climbs on the chair and then she hits him on his head and sometimes uncle thomas himself lifts her up in his hand in his hand he lifts her up and then she reaches his head she hits him on his head that is very funny relationship between uh, shara and thomas then she says she has a complaint every time you go on tour with your friends and i remain alone at home this time if you go i am going to my mother's house my mother's house shara becomes angry this time because thomas uh, and his friends Thomas and his friends they have the system that women and children won't be allowed in their tour usually you know women children old people usually and you you know sick people if they go on tour or picnic they will destroy the picnic they will destroy because in front of the women you have to maintain discipline you you have to behave in a disciplined manner you have to speak in a disciplined manner so if you remain disciplined under restrictions then how can you have fun so these group of friends they never allow women and children in their trip in their outing they decide to go with their similar age peer groups only and then shara Shara ang becomes angry and she stops talking to Uncle Thomas. She says, "I will go to my mother's house." Uncle Thomas responds positively. He says, "Okay, you are allowed. You can go." And this time, the narrator, that is the small boy, a small boy is also going to join them. Although children are not allowed in their outing, this time Uncle Thomas will make it happen. Uncle Thomas. will he has you can say authority he seems to be leading one among the friends among the group and whatever he says it happens so this time he will uh, make it happen he will include his uh, nephew also in the tour in the picnic now on saturday morning the chara bank comes chara bank you know a, a single decker a single decker bus usually without wood without the upper covering without the roof and that is usually used for sightseeing for tourists you can see charabang charabang is a boss you can see you can say 
So, in Chara Bank, they decide they plan to go on outing. On Saturday morning, everything is ready. Everyone has come. And the narrator finds a small note. A small note in, on the table, in the room, in the house. What was that? That was a note, a small note written by Sarah, Aunt Sarah. She had written uh, instructions for Uncle Thomas. She had written everything clearly. You put off your shoes before you go to bed, right? Where things are kept. She has mentioned there, she mentions there the things that she had kept. That means where the things are, where the brush is, where the shoes are, means things at home. So, um, Sarah, Apu no boy pachi. Sarah ko anu pastiti ma. Uncle Thomas lai saman haru khos na garo na hos bani ra. Sarah instructions haru le instructions haru leke ra. Uta note ma leke ra rahe ko engine. Means to note her da kari ulle realize gar cha. The small boy, the latter realizes, wow. Though she is angry, though she goes to her mother's house, right? Being angry with her husband, that is Thomas, she writes, she cares a lot for her husband that shows the deep relationship deep love between them on saturday morning everything is ready everyone has come they start early morning on saturday they start their journey as they start their journey they go ahead they go a little ahead then they come to know that one person one of their friends that is old ozones old ozones is missing old ozones shoot you Right? Again, they have to get back to the same place to receive old ozones. One of them, Mr. Weasley, Mr. Weasley complains. He, he finds it irritating. He says, no, all the time we are getting late. We are already late. Let's not get back. Let's not get back. But all the other friends, they say, no, we can't go without old ozones. Old ozones must go. With us, then they return. K agadi gai shake pachi, exin agar, K bear agadi body shake pachi, fairy for ke rounds and tiniaru. Kaslailina, ozones lailina. They come to receive ozones. Ozones lailina. Now ozones was waiting for them. Then ozones enters. Ani u inter by pachi, uleke bansa. Actually, I did not want to come. Usle have no bow de kaunsa, san de kaunsa. Actually, I did not want to come, but I always go. That's why I came this year as well. Then the Chara Banki starts again. Then again, they start as they move ahead for some time. Then Mr. Weasley says, oh, please get back, get back. Take the Chara Bank back. I forgot to bring my teeth. I forgot to bring my teeth. Means Mr. Weasley ko Mr. Weasley ko daat thay na. Means u eti budo bai shay ko chha. Ki usko daat haru sapai jai shay ko chha. He has artificial teeth. You know denture. And he has forgotten to bring his teeth. So he says let's get back. I forgot to bring my teeth. But the other friend says no. Why do you need the teeth? Are you going to bite anybody? You are not going to bite anyone. You don't need the teeth. But he says but... I might like to smile. I might want to smile. If I want to smile, how can I smile without teeth? That is what he said. So the friends, they make fun of each other. They joke each other. They have lots of fun. They exaggerate about their nature, about their character and so on. They have lots of fun. And the boy was this time, the boy at first, at the beginning, some of the friends complain. They say, how can you take the boy? We can't take the boy in our trip. But Uncle Thomas, he silenced them all. He said, I'm going to talk to you. I know that my nephew is going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. He said, he silences everyone. Now, what do you think? When you go to the next step, there was a pub on the way. Their destination is Portkal. Where are you going? Portkal. Portkal is your destination. But on the way, they find a pub. Pub, you know, Bhatti. Rakshi Bhatti. Right? Kanchi ko Bhatti bansho ni ami. Yes. There was a pub on the way. There was a pub on the way. When they see the pub, they start hooting and shouting. They say, stop. They stop. And they enter the pub. 
as they enter the pub they start drinking and they make uncle thomas he says he he asks the boy to stop in the field in a field they park the bus they park the charabang and asks the boy the small boy the nephew the name of the narrator the small boy is not mentioned here we don't know the name then ullai bancha timi babu timi ya basi rakha ani chara bus heri rakhnu bus ma saman haru cha hamro saman haru cha bus ko nigrani garera timi ya basi rakhnu they ask the boy to take care of the chara bank and they enter the pub now the boy is alone he is feeling bored with the uh, in front alone he is lonely he sometimes look at the boss looks at the boss and sometimes he looks at the cows grazing in the field kaile gai lai hercha gai chari raheko chha ghas khai raheko chha kaile u chara bank ma hercha he is feeling bored right and these groups of friends no boben inek dobis inok dobis old ozons everyone they have they start drinking they start drinking they shout they hoot they may speak in loud voice they make noise they keep on drinking and shouting then in the meanwhile in meanwhile what happens one man one peddler one man comes to sell some onions and spices right he enters he goes to the pub when he goes to the pub the boy also follows the onion seller he goes he follows the onion seller and he finds when he uh, he looks inside he finds that all all the friends benjamin franklin will sentry ozones mr wisley all of them their face they have completely changed means they were drunk they were heavily drunk they were intoxicated and they had lots of fun they were and en- they were enjoying a lot now finally they finished all the alcohol in the pub there was no alcohol left in the pub then they come out of the pub and they start again as they start again on the way there comes a stream euta sano khola euta khola auncha khola ae pachi sab jana khushi hunchan they all shout they all hoot they all stop they they ask the driver of the chara bank to stop the bus the bus stops and the friends they they come out of the chara bank bus they enter the the river they put they they some of them sleep there koi chiplera lot cha tya pani ma ekdam maja le keta keti haru jastai like a small child like a small children they have fun they enjoy they shout they hoot they don't behave like matured people they behave completely like children like a small children they forget all their burdens of life they forget all the tragic tragedies of life they forget everything that bothers their mind and they have only fun in the in their mind they have an only entertainment and fun now this was he now it is already evening when they um, they are near the river they are it is already evening now there is no time left to go ahead because if they go to portkal it will be night already and it would it would be impossible to return from there there is no time to go to portkal and they have no money left they are their money was also almost used up they have already completely finished all their money on on the in pub on drinks now they have no money left no time left to go ahead then they start appreciating the same place they say why to go to portkal this place is much better than portkal this is much beautiful much more beautiful place this place so attractive so you can say fascinating place wow wonderful scene wonderful sight wonderful scenery why to go to portkal then they return from there they get back from there on the way so this is how our story simply describes an outing one day outing one day picnic by a group of friends in a chara bank the destination is portkal but they never reach the destination on the way they find a pub they enter the pub they have lots of fun they enjoy they drink they talk they shout right they mock they make fun of each other they tease each other and finally they say why to go to portkal this place is better than portkal and they return 
so this is all in the story that's why we can say a story is not a story proper but a jumble of various people because these people they represent various characters living in our society and what is the masses of the story we can see we can find some important um, um, points we can uh, we can conclude the story with some important points one thing a small boy a small boy looks everything right from very magnif ma means magnifying glass you can say a small boy the vision of in in perspective of a small boy even small things are very big means as we grow up as we grow up as we become matured things become normal we say all oh, these things are normal in life these things happen in life the things that are normal in our life in our understanding for small children those things are very big one abnormal one typical one strange one another point is we can never be depend on drunkards we should never believe drunkards drunkards they tell you they tell you that they would take you to some place but they will take you some, somewhere else they tell you to take to, to take you to some somewhere else right but they reach somewhere means ek thama they take you they will take you to uh, bhedetar but on the way they enter tadara on the way they enter do itahari and they don't take you there means they promise to do something but they do something else so we should we cannot believe we cannot depend on drunk cards okay then the other thing is in every matured people every matured man matured boy ra pani 45 barsha ko 50 barsha ko manche haru ma pani there is a hidden child inside means they all want to have fun and humor in life fun humor exaggeration all these things are normal in life these things make us forget all the burdens of life so these are all the important things uh, from our story and then one question how does the boy how does the narrator describe the relationship between uh, between his uncle and his aunt uncle and his wife this is so what is the relationship they have fun they have humor in their relationship sometimes they have disputes and quarrels but yet there is deep love between them you can point the example when sara goes to her mother's house she writes notes instructions for her husband things are where she has kept the things and she gives the clear instructions you put up your shoes before you go to bed and so on and so on so we can say uh, all these things and then another question is uh, why does will sentry always follow benjamin franklin so will sentry always follows benjamin franklin big bec uh, because bob the fiddle one of their friends bob the fiddle in previous uh, you can say tour or outing had misused the money and after that event the friends don't have faith on each other and that's why they want to keep a watchful eye on the person the treasurer who is assigned with the responsibility of managing things who is uh, who has collected the fund where he is spending how much he is spending so will sentry always followed benjamin franklin so these are the major uh, questions in short questions uh, to be asked in the examinations i wish uh, you all the best thank you